Hey guys, what's up, Sagittarius? Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Um, we're going to do a little bit different spread this time, but same general idea. Um, take a look at what you need to be aware of for your highest good and the outcome of that situation. Sagittarius. Keep in mind, um, the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of someone that you're dealing with. Also, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everyone. Um, but if so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Sagittarius, let's get it. Alright. Immediate future for Sagittarius. Alright. Nine of four. Damn. Okay. Something possibly ended here. Somebody is stressed out of their mind. Confused and worried. I don't feel like you need to be, but the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. So there could have been a breakup. There could have been some type of ending, some betrayal, some backstabbing, that type of thing. Because um, somebody was worried like crazy, all up in their head, losing sleep, like just feeling stuck in their mind. So let's see what's going on. Damn. Talking about this Nine of Swords for Sagittarius. Definitely could have been some arguments. I don't know what this was. Or what this is. But damn, somebody is really in their head stressing something. The star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is um, somebody's wish fulfillment. And possibly, you know, there, there has been healing here. But somebody is wanting to put in the work and possibly... The offer is being rejected. Or has been. Like somebody's just kind of withdrawn. Bored and fed up. Damn, somebody's really worried. Show me this Eight of Swords. There's an Eight and the Nine of Swords. Alright, so your heart broke over somebody. Could be a soulmate or somebody, you know, that you've known for a long time. But there's one particular person... Um, there could be a distance between you guys right now, but somebody is just stressing this. Possibly, like, just feeling like their offer is not going to be accepted here, or possibly it wasn't. Somebody is so heartbroken, stressed. It's crazy. Damn. All right. Show me this two of cups for Sagittarius for the immediate future. King of Wands. So somebody is like, okay, so this could have been some toxic shit. An ex. Um, there's your energy there. So we have Capricorn, then we have your energy. Then we have Cancer, then Pisces. Damn. So this could have been some toxic situation, some type of codependent situation. Um, some lies, some betrayal definitely could have been there. Um, and now you're kind of healing from that. Somebody is really stressed and it's like there was a decision made or that needed to be made. Talk about this King of Wands for Sagittarius. King of Wands, please. Somebody walked away. Some sneak shit. They could have walked away to someone else. And now somebody is just really stressed and heartbroken. Show me this Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody could have been juggling more than one person. And that came out. Possibly cut this person out, but, um... It could have been you trying to make a decision between two people. And there was some clarity. 
or somebody had like an epiphany, like an aha moment. Show me this Queen of Cups for the outcome. Yeah, okay. Six of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So it could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you're dealing with. We just had strengths come out as well. So it could be a Leo. There's Virgo energy. So... There is something new here. It's not a whole lot of action for the outcome. Um, you know, possibly somebody who um, is, is is giving those two people. There is a new beginning here, but that's it's the Ace of Wands, so I feel like it's still kind of more passionate. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is moving like this is the slowest card in the deck. So I don't feel like a whole lot of movement here. No, the Three of Three of Wands. So there is, sorry. So now, yeah, we have two queens here for the outcome. So it's, it's kind of, it's kind of not moving right now. Not with both parties involved. Because you see, we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So it's kind of like, you know, somebody is slowly moving towards that. But then we also have the Six of Pentacles, which is about, you know, giving the two people. So it's like there's a new beginning over here with this Queen of Cups. And then this Queen of Wands is just over here, like, in wait mode. So I don't see a whole lot of action there for the outcome, for the immediate future. Possibly, yeah, communication from, uh, could be from a cancer, but it could be communication about moving forward. A possible reconciliation. But I don't see that as being right now. I think that's still um, a little bit off down the road here. There's a decision between two people. Whether this is you making it or not. Uh, you know, take it how it resonates with you. Communication is coming. There is something new starting. But I feel like somebody over here is kind of sidelined waiting. So possibly that would, you know, explain this worry, this stress. This other person could, you know, be at a distance. Take it how it resonates, okay? There's change coming, definitely. I'm not sure that it's, you know, today. Maybe tomorrow, because it keeps, it keeps flopping out. Um, so very soon, but... Alright, Sagittarius, so this is what I have for you guys. Um, so, in the immediate future, there is something new, but I don't see a whole lot of movement behind it. There's a lot of pinnacles there, very slow, slow energy. This isn't your, your story, you know, you'll probably know it because, damn, somebody is stressed like crazy worrying about this. All right, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you guys. Hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please drop a like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.